and welcome to Soul Symbols. My name is Shelly. I'm a writer, an astrologer, and a card reader, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Happy Saturday. It is the weekly energy card reading, and what that is is you, the viewer, get to choose from one of three tarot decks, and we'll go through and do a quick spread to see what the general energies will be like for the next seven days. It does not need to be the week of August 7th through August 14th, 2021, in order for the messages to resonate. If you come across this reading at any time, there may be little nuggets of information contained. Um, there's a saying in card reading, we say take what resonates and leave the rest. So if you feel like a message isn't resonating, you do not need to take it. Uh, just go with whatever energy you feel like is speaking to you. And anything else, just leave it by the wayside. So, um, as you know, I like to try to keep my decks in rotation, and um, today I'm doing something kind of fun. Um, <laughs> I decided to uh, pull out the decks um, that I haven't used in a while, and it turns out the three decks that I haven't used in a while are the three first decks. So, I'd, I'm calling this my first reading, and um, what it is is um, we have the so the, the the first deck the first deck is um the actually the very first deck that i've ever bought for tarot ever like it's it's many many moons old and it is the tarot art nouveau uh by Lo scarabo Ooh, and temperance look at that that's so pretty and on top of it we have the very first stone i ever bought for tarot um and um it, it is a amethyst point so that's deck number one uh, deck number two is the uh, the Morgan Greer Tarot, um, produced by, oh gosh, why am I <laughs> drawing a blank? Um, uh, but it's the Morgan Greer, and on top of it, um, this is actually the very formal first deck that I ever learned Tarot on. Um, the the um, Art Nouveau deck that I used initially, it's it's a gorgeous deck, but it's a little bit more of an artsy deck, and um, I wanted I, I I needed something a little bit more traditional with the actual images, like the regular tarot images. Um, so I went with the Morgan Greer uh, tarot, and um, and so this is the the first deck that I actually formally learned tarot on. And on top of it, we have a beautiful uh, piece of sea glass. The last deck is my actual, actual very first, um, um, why am I not speaking? I'm sorry, it's been a long day, guys. I'm a little out of it. Um, this is my very first uh, Rider Waite Smith uh, deck. And this is a gorgeous deck. I actually um, really had to search the internet for it. Um, this is the A.G. Mueller uh, deck. It's a, it's, um, it's a, a deck made in Europe, and what it is is it is uh, Rider Waite Smith, but the images are very very crisp, and um, all of the artwork is just very very sharp. The um, if you get a chance to check out the um, there's a um, there's a card review here on my channel where I talk about the differences in the different Rider Waite Smith. And there's uh, some really great um, videos here on YouTube that talk about those differences as well. But this was the very first Rider Waite Smith uh, deck that I had bought. And it's by A.G. Mueller Company. And on top of it, we have a beautiful sunstone. Uh, to clarify, I actually was drawn to bring this deck out. Um, I was actually... Um, I, I was responding to a comment um, on one of my other videos. I was I was really floored. Um, I had done a deck review for Deja Druitt's Love Oracle deck, and um, and oh, I was I was so fangirling the other day. She actually left a comment um, uh, thanking me for doing the the review, and and I was just so over the moon because she's like one of my favorite deck creators ever. I was so excited, and while I was uh, replying to her comment. Um, I was, you know, looking at other um, messages, other posts that um, that you guys have left me, and I, I apologize. I always read all of the comments. It's just uh, sometimes it's a day or so before I can get to it, but um, I read all of the comments. And it was on a video where I was talking about different card decks, and I actually, uh, I realized I haven't pulled this deck out in a while. And um, so we're going to use this deck to clarify. And I was, it was amazing. It was, this, this deck was part of one of the collections that I did. And I, I just, I listened to myself talk about how much I like the deck. So I was like, oh, I got to pull this out for the weekly energy card read. 
but all right guys so these are the three decks um please i'll go ahead and give you a minute um please choose from your intuition if you need more time please pause the video and i'll see you in a minute okay guys we're back I'm so, um, it's, you know, I'm, when I was the Rider Waite Smith, my A.G. Mueller was used every single, um, in every single How to Tarot. Um, and I've, I've since wrapped up that series of the How to Tarot videos. So now I almost forget to bring it out. And, um, and usually it's deck number one. So it's so different that I have it as deck number three. But all right, guys. So. Uh, deck number one, the Tarot Art Nouveau, the very first deck I've ever bought ever for Tarot, and um, the Amethyst Point. Uh, so let's go ahead and see, deck number one, what's your energy for the week? What's, what's going on this week for deck number one? Let's find out. Deck number one, what's, what's going on this week? Oh, thank you. Oh, nice. Middle of the week. These decks are really speaking to me. Oh, wow. Wands, Ace of Wands. Hmm. I'm telling you the vibe. The love us. Love us. Um, one one uh, caveat with this deck is that the images are really lovely. Um, the I there's a story behind this. The actual reason that I, I've, when I first got into tarot, this was my very first tarot deck, and I loved Art Nouveau. I still love Art Nouveau uh, pictures, uh, but um, I, I was so drawn to the artwork that I didn't, I hadn't really studied a tarot. Like I, I, it's always good to start with a simple deck or start with like a real Rider Wade Smith while you're learning. You know, something that actual has that has the imagery of the tarot, so you can actually learn the tarot. Because as gorgeous as this deck is, if you don't know the the images, if you're not very very familiar with the cards before you start getting into like the artistic you know, decks, um, then you, you, you're going to get lost. Um, the other thing is that this deck has a little bit of chauvinism in it. Um, you know, you see a lot of submissive women and a lot of dominant men, and, you know, we assign the roles as they resonate, but um, there is also a little bit of naked bits. Um, nothing below the waist, but definitely um, some, 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 some boobage. So just to, to let you know. All right, so let's go ahead and energy. Okay. Wow, I am seeing energy with this. This is pretty wild. So wow, guys. So to start your week, um, over the weekend, um, I think you're gonna have, you're gonna be feeling, you're gonna be feeling really uh, victorious over the weekend. Um, so over the weekend into the beginning of the week, um, one thing that I kind of get is that I, I feel like you're just feeling kind of good in yourself. Um, I, I think that you might be you might be getting some attention uh, for the things that you do. Like you might be getting some praise. Um, you might be kind of uh, people might be looking up to you for having accomplished a lot. But it's funny. I, I'm almost seeing. You know what I'm almost getting from this? Um, the way the lady looks is um, uh, she kind of looks like she has like a swimsuit on. And it kind of looks like she has a towel wrapped around her waist. Um, and then she's holding a bouquet of flowers. Um, so really, you know what I'm almost getting, guys, is if you are watching this video at the time it posts, um, I'm, I'm in North America, I'm in the United States. So um, we're kind of, this, this week coming up is kind of like, it is a little bit of kind of like the last week of summer, you know, like if you're headed back to school or if you're going to college or, you know, um, it, it kind of feels like that last, kind of the, the last hurrah time, you know, it's kind of like the last time that you'll go to the pool or, um, you know, just kind of those things before, before life starts getting busy again, you know, cause, in by the end of um, by the end of August, it really is that that shift. It it's almost a little bittersweet, you know. You feel like the summer is starting to to wrap up, right? But here, 
what I'm almost kind of getting here is that I get the sense like you might have accomplished a lot like maybe you maybe you're doing well at work or maybe you've you've got everything all organized like everything in your life is just really on track and I, I get the sense like you're almost I feel like you're enjoying some private time um, maybe you are going to the pool you know getting that pool day in um, you know f funny enough guys I get the sense like you might be like um, you might be buying yourself flowers at the like the, sh the at the supermarket like maybe you go to the grocery store and normally you don't you know you don't drop money on on any you know any of the extravagances or but maybe you see a bouquet of flowers and you're just like you know what I've earned that <laughs> I've done well at work maybe maybe even I, I'm getting like that sense of confidence like again maybe you're getting a lot of accolades um, and this could be on a family way too maybe maybe your family is really praising you or you I, I get the sense like you've been kind of getting a pat on the back lately in in all the areas of your life where you kind of feel like you know what I deserve to splurge for myself you know I, I deserve to go to the pool or to have a spa day or uh, to buy myself flowers um, one other way I can kind of read this and again with it kind of looking like a bikini top there maybe you go flower picking you know it's funny I I just went flower picking um, on the 4th of July and oh it was nice it was so nice. I had not, I had not gone out to like pick flowers in a long time, and it was very relaxing. It was very relaxing, and and it felt that way. You know what? It, it did. It 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 made me feel like this. You know how, you know how you kind of feel like um, you always feel like Miss America when you got an arm full of flowers, <laughs> and um and that's kind of how I felt. You know, I was like filling up my bucket, but um that's what I'm kind of getting, guys. I really get the sense like you're just. You're going to be feeling confident, um, and I feel like uh, I feel like you're just kind of treating yourself well because you're. Um, it's it's almost like you're at a little bit of a plateau of victory in your life right now. Maybe you had a good week at work, or you just you're just having a good weekend where you're feeling very self confident, and um, I do think that you're doing things um, for yourself. Again, I, I get the sense like you might go to the pool or go to the beach or um, um, maybe pick up some flowers at a roadside stand or something like that. It's just um, you, you're you're you feel victorious, and so it, all that's kind of coming out in the way that you're exuding yourself, you know. And I do think that you might be kind of splurging, you know, doing little things for yourself that you want to do. Um, like you know that that make you the other thing that I get is um, you know how sometimes um, you know how you watch videos about how when when the kings and queens and princesses visit places someone's always giving them flowers um, I'm almost getting like you're 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 making yourself feel that way by you know by, again buying yourself something that you feel like you deserve now by the middle of the week this is interesting guys you got the four swords and what's beautiful is there's a lot of green in this card. There's a lot of green. Now, the other thing is you see that you're no longer in your bikini. You're no longer in your swimsuit. You know, you're kind of, of back back to work, back to, you know, back to, you know, back to reality. But um, the Four of Swords, yeah, here we go. The, the lovers keep wanting to pop out. And, ooh, the Three of Swords, we don't want that. But, um... I get the sense like by the middle of the week, um, the by the middle of the week, something is kind of weighing on your mind. Um, I think you might kind of have uh, some decisions, um, some kind of choice of what you want to do. Yeah, strength. Um, I do get the sense like um, uh, it's interesting in this in this picture. There's there's um, Leo lion heads, and we are in Leo season. And um, you know it's it's interesting um, the 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 sun uh, doesn't leave Leo and go into Virgo until the twenty third, but this week is the seventh to the fourteenth. So um, I do kind of sense like um, I get the sense that sometimes um, something in the middle of the week has you kind of. Um, there's something challenging in the middle of the week, and it's almost like you have to kind of keep your willpower in check a little bit. 
Um, the other thing I'm kind of getting is that I get the sense like there might be, there there might be a few verbal kind of battles where you don't necessarily have to bite your tongue, but um, I always look at the Four of Swords as being that, that kind of tagging out card. Like you've seen in boxing, um, you know how when you've gone round and round and round, sometimes you have to go to your corner, you know? You have to go to your corner, get, get a squirt of water, um, you know, dry, dry off of the towel. I think there's something, um, there's something in the middle of the week that, that, it, you really need to kind of pull away from in order to make the right decision about. There's some kind of heavy decision or something, something kind of big. And again, I'm, I'm getting a lot of like end of summer kind of energy, you know, like, okay, you know, over the weekend, it's like, okay, let me enjoy the last of this free energy. And then it's like, by the time you get back in the week, it's like, okay, back into the thick of it. Like, okay, you know, what am I doing? You know, we're, we're transitioning into the next season. Um, but there is some kind of situation and it might be romantic. Um, I do think that some kind of information is going to come to light. It could be at work. It could be, um, it could be family related, uh, two of pentacles. Um, I'm seeing a lot of twos and that usually indicates a choice. Uh, the lovers wanted to pop out there. Yeah, the two of wands has come up twice. Um, I really think that you're going to be deciding kind of what direction you want to go, but it's a very, it's kind of a heavy decision. Uh, the other thing that I kind of get is that um, these choices that you're making right now, um, these choices might, there might be someone else around you that has something going on in their life. It could be a family member, it can be a boyfriend, a girlfriend, um, but it's almost like you're your decision is kind of contingent on the decision that they make. Like it's, it's almost like when they make a move, you make a move. Right. But the other thing that I kind of get is that, um, the, this situation is really not, um, y you've, you've already put enough energy into it. You've already done what you could. And I think you almost have to men mentally kind of check out in the middle of the week. And I think, you know what I'm almost getting from this is that it's it's almost like you want to fix something. You want to fix something. Either that or you want to organize something. But it's not your job to organize it. So it is, it's almost like you have to, you have to kind of wrestle, <laughs> you have to wrestle down your, your inner willpower a little bit. But um, I do think that the universe is asking you to kind of step away from this decision. Um, the other thing is that if some kind of information comes to light, or if there's someone else around you that needs to make a choice or is, is contemplating like a big choice, it's really telling you, don't influence their decision. Just step back, step back. You can, you can, you can perceive that what you can do is you can look at the situation, but uh, try not to dwell on it and try not to get involved. I'm getting a strong sense of like, I, I feel like you're a very organized person. I think you're good at fixing things. I think you're good at fixing problems, but whatever this is, is not your problem to fix. But I think like inside you really, you're kind of like chomping at the bit to try to do something, but it's, it's telling you that it's not your place to do anything. Um, kind of check out, you know, try to step away. Um, the other thing is that, yeah, I'm getting a strong sense that someone around you, yeah, um, the, the high priestess, uh, step back, lean back. The other thing is, um, uh, what I am also getting from this is it, it might be asking you to kind of, um, try not to control anything. Try to let go of the need to control, um, and know that the universe is, is working this out, right? The universe is working this out. Um, the other thing that I get is that if, if you try to get involved, it's not going to, it's not going to solve anything. I, I get the feeling like there's the, the, the power over this situation lies with someone else and all you can do is kind of lean back. Um, but it, I think what it's doing is it's telling you to try not to worry about it because, um, you're, you're a good fixer. You're a good at fixing things, but the, you shouldn't try to fix this. You should try to lean back and you're, you're welcome to think about it, but try not to ruminate and try not to, to take any action yet. 
Now, by the end of the week, this is interesting. You've got the Knight of Pentacles and you've got the King of Swords. We've got more air energy, guys. So this is interesting. I think you are going to be thinking, 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 planning, planning, planning. Um, you are really, you are really making um, a decision about what you want to do, and but it's it's almost like um, I'm I'm seeing a lot of um, I'm seeing a lot of energy. <laughs> it's a lot of mental energy too. But I get the feeling by the weekend, um, you you are gonna the the king is the king, right? He's the, the 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 king of swords is the 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 last card of his suit, and and he's the mature masculine of thought, right? He's he's the uh, the chess master, right? He's strategic, and what I get is I get the sense that by the end of the week you really will have a plan. Like you will have a plan. You will know what you want to do. You will have thought it out, mapped it out. It's all in your head, right? It is all, all, all jotted down in your head. But the outward expression is the Knight of Pentacles. You are slowly starting to take action. I think what it's really telling you to do is have that map, have that master plan in your head, but take slow steps. Take slow steps. So um, the other thing I get is that it, 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 this plan might be financially based. Um, so maybe this is job related. Um, you know, by the end of the week, you might kind of know, you might, you, you'll have all of your goals in mind and you'll have it, a, a plan as to how you want to reach those goals. But it, you, you just want to take very plotting steps. And um, this is the night. So it is kind of telling you, try to, um, you know, knights go on adventures, right? They're the they're the cards. They are the the court uh, cards that have the horses, right? But the Knight of Pentacles is very very slow moving. Um, he's slow moving, but every single step that he takes is solid. So it's going to be slow moving, but it's very very solid. Now, one other way that I can kind of read this because we did have the lovers kind of trying to pop out you might have someone and it feels like a love someone that you love or care about um, and if you're a woman watching this reading you might have someone who has a, a big decision on their plate and you really wanna you, it's almost like you wanna tell them what to do or you wanna guide them but it's their choice so all you can do is lean back and then by the end of the week it's like that person is coming to you and expressing to you okay this is what I'm gonna do this is the choice I'm gonna make they're explaining to you their plan but as they implement it it's gonna be slow going it's gonna be it's gonna be an adventure right so this this could be a king of swords that's approaching you and and what they're doing is they're starting to take slow action now this can be like a commitment to you that this person is is telling you about um, they could be like, okay, look, this is what I want with you. It's just, we're going to have to take it slow. This is going to have to be really slow. But this, whoever this is, has definitely thought about this. Like, they are all up in their head about it. Um, if this is your energy, you know what you want to do, but it's just going to be kind of slow moving. And, um, and these might be like financial projects. And what, what you have to kind of do is it's almost like by the weekend, you know what your goal is, but you're going to have to break it down into manageable pieces and it's going to go very, you know, kind of step by step. But that's very exciting energy, guys. And the other thing is that the way you're holding up the coin, it's almost like you, it, it is a little bit of a, um, it is a little bit of a declaration, you know, it is kind of like, it's, it's like saying, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going, you know, um. Uh, you know what I'm thinking of, and I know that's so funny. Uh, when if you've ever seen the Despicable Me movies, uh, you know Doctor Nefario. Um, you know how he's on that little motor scooter that goes like like less than a quarter. You know it it goes so slow, and you know it's funny. They they were like they were giving him a send off, and he was he was just like you know he's like mm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of like what I'm feeling here and it's 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 a little anticlimactic but it feels good you're moving you're moving but it's kind of like yeah I'm going I'm going I'm moving 
Um, and your card really kind of talks about that too. It says energy, right? Healing energy and immense vitality thro uh, f flow through me easily and effortlessly, right? But what I'm really getting with this is I'm getting a lot of mental energy. I'm getting a lot of mental energy. And the other thing is with that looking like a sun um, and with all this Leo, um, I really get the sense like there's, there, there's, um, um, you got a lot of, um, Leo is a very leadership kind of energy and I really get the sense like that's, you're, you, you really, you're really leading the way. You're, you're, you're starting down a path and I think you're really, really thinking about it. I, again, I, I just, um, Leos are good organizers. They're good leaders too. Very good leaders. But um, I do, I get almost like the sense like you, you want this to be a successful project and, but I really do get the sense like this involves someone else though, guys, this involves someone else and um, something about your plan or their plan, you know, it, it, it has to be rolled out. You know, you have, um, you have a lot of energy, you're excited about it, but you do have to um, by the weekend, it's it's almost going to be, you know, slow, slow and steady wins the race, right? Well, guys, oh, pile number one, that's a glorious week. That's a good week. Very solid and, and definitely enjoy that, enjoy that beginning of the week if you get a chance to, you know, uh, treat yourself good. All right, so deck number two, guys, this is the Morgan Greer. Uh, this is the, the, the first deck that I formally learned tarot on. It was like my, my first actual tarot tarot deck. Um, the reason I went with Morgan Greer is because I actually, um, there's a, there's a Renaissance festival that's in my, um, state and the tarot reader that I really trust, um, when I would go to fest had this deck and she had it in a big version, like bigger cards. And I just thought it was a gorgeous deck then. And, and, um, again, like I told you, the, the first deck is, uh, the first deck I ever bought, but it, it's a, it's an art deck, so it doesn't have the same traditional symbolism so I needed a deck that I could really read and you'll probably notice that throughout this whole read I these cards these decks really speak to me because again it was my first ever tarot deck my first ever learned on and and my first uh rider weight but all right guys sorry enough enough blabbing but okay so deck number two Morgan Greer this one really speaks to me uh beginning of the week what's what's our energy oh wow okay middle of the week please I'm just going to clarify. I was drawn to this one. Please clarify. Cool. Justice. Okay. Okay, and the week. Oh my gosh, you got, you've got majors, and you've got a 10 in there, guys. Wow. Wow, we got a 10 and then an ace. Wow, guys. We're wrapping up a cycle here. Um, we're wrapping up a cycle. We were talking about, uh, we got some, some major cards and temperance is trying to pop out. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get your oracle card. Let's see what's our oracle card. Awakening. Oh my gosh. Enthusiasm. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take both of those because there's really, oh, and you got the blue bird of happiness. I love that. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of bird symbolism. We'll get into that. All right. So, wow, guys, uh, beginning of the week, uh, we got the Eight of Pentacles underneath the Magician. You, you, are, uh, you are making things happen <laughs> over, the, over the weekend and in the beginning of the week. I do almost get the sense like somehow you're working over the weekend. Um, I don't know if maybe, maybe you're, uh, you know, the Magician can really be an entrepreneur. Because um, when you look at the ma magician, he has all the elements on the table, you know. So um, I really kind of get the sense like, um, like you, you, you might be, you know, starting your own business or you might work out of your home where you kind of make your own hours, right? You, you, you know, it's funny. I, I giggle at that because um, sometimes when you, when, you're an, uh, when you work for yourself, you work way more than just 40 hours a week. Like you, it's almost like you, you, don't, you don't clock yourself the way that you would if you had a normal nine to five, right? Sometimes it can really be kind of crazy. Um, I have a really good friend who started, who loves, um, 
uh, who started her own um, candy company. And I know that sounds crazy, um, but n not in a weird way, but she, um, um, over last winter, um, she saw one of those YouTube videos that talked about how to make a cocoa bomb. Um, you know, those those balls of chocolate that have uh, hot chocolate in the center. And, um, and my friend is such a stickler for details, like when she cooks things, you know, keeping things at the exact temperature. And she's, she's, got, the, she's got a very analytical mind that understands the way that you, the, the way that you keep something quality control, the way that you, you make something the exact same way every single time. And it was so cute. She started to make those cocoa, uh, 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 cocoa bombs in a bunch of different flavors. Like um, she even did like a green one uh, that she called the Grinch, and um, and I bought that for Christmas. It was so good, but um, but she ended up she actually um, does um, a bunch of different ones now. She did the cocoa bombs over Christmas and over the the, the cold season, but now she's got like cupcakes. She has tiramisu. She has and again the way that she cooks is is it's like an industrial level. You know, she, she does it the exact same way. And um, it's funny, she was mentioning to me how, she, you should see her kitchen. She's got like stainless steel shelves. It looks like, it looks like a factory in her kitchen. And she has to keep the air conditioning up or down low to keep it at a temperature, climate controlled. So that's almost what I'm kind of seeing here, guys. I'm sorry to lament, but that's what I'm kind of seeing here. It's almost like you're working on something. Maybe you're starting something out of your house where you're really kind of working over the weekend, but it's kind of a label, labor of love. Um, alternatively, maybe um, if you're spearheading some kind of project, maybe for work, because there's a lot of pentacles here. There's a lot of pentacles here. Um, so maybe you're working for some on um, working on some kind of project for work and you're doing it over the weekend, but it's it's making you feel real powerful. Um, the other thing I get is, look at this guy. He's got, um, he's got the, both, this looks like the same guy, right? You see the mustache? This is a 70s deck. It's a very, you know, it's, the, the lovers looks like Chris Christopherson from, um, uh, the Star is Born, like the, like, you know, like, um, some serious, some serious, like, beard, uh, um, mustache and, and beardage here. But, um, but. I, I, I feel like, you know, what's beautiful is that this energy feels like empowered, like, like the, the work that you're putting in is like getting you juiced. Like you, you feel like the work that you're doing is, is, is propelling you forward and that you, you're in control of your destiny, you know, like, um, I'm sorry, you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing that song. Ain't no stopping us now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to have to, uh, I'll link it. I'll link it in the description box, but, um, I get the sense like I'm that this is beautiful energy guys. Um, I love this because this type of energy, you know, I'm actually channeling you guys now. I am getting enthusiasm. Um, you feel really excited about what you're doing. You feel really excited about what you're doing. And I think you're learning something again. I'm getting like, are you starting some kind of business out of your garage? You're, you're out of your house and, and you're really, you're, you're getting things together. Um, the other thing is with all the elements being on the table, I feel like you're assembling something like you've got, you've got all of the things that you need to be successful. But, um, I do think that you're working hard you might be putting in some extra hours and all of that, that work is really, um, it's the other thing I get with the magician is you see how you have the infinity symbol. It's a conduit. The energy that you put in comes back to you. Um, the other thing is, uh, as as above, so below. So you you really do you feel like a channel of energy, but that's beautiful energy, guys. I think that you're really. Um, the other thing that I get is that with the ten of pentacles and this, I do get the sense of like workplace. Like it, it feels like workplace. But the interesting is there's there's a little bit of a home element to this too. So I do like 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 my friend. I think he might actually be like. Um, starting a business or, or, or just working. Um, it, it is almost like, it's almost like you have some kind of project that you're putting together or working on, um, to, to make sure that, that everything comes together.
but you are manifesting it. You're making it happen. Um, if this is some kind of project for work, you are the key player. Like you're the person that's making it happen. And that feels really empowering. That's really exciting. There's a lot of red here too, guys. There's a lot of wearing red cloaks, which is like energy and passion. Now, by the middle of the week, this is really beautiful, guys. Uh, you've got the Ten of Pentacles and you've got the Justice card. Um, so you know what I'm, I'm feeling, guys? I think by the middle of the week, um, I can kind of read this one of two ways. Um, the main way that I'm getting is that I just really feel like, like you feel like you made it right like like you, you like you feel like successful um and again there's there's this weird kind of hybrid of of home and um it is there's almost like a happiness at home like a celebration at home you feel like it feels really king of swords yeah it feels that's he's a he's a common denominator this week um I, 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 I feel like you feel abundant. You feel like abundant. It's, it's almost like, it's almost like you feel like you're in a palace. The other thing that I kind of get here is that with the justice card, maybe, um, um, maybe you are getting judged on the work that you're presenting. Again, if this is some kind of project, um, or if this is like a school kind of thing. Um, I know. If you're watching this at the time the video posts we're not quite in school yet but um, if if you do go to school like if you did like a summer semester summer course you might be submitting you know this could be like final projects for things but um, um, I get the sense like almost like you're submitting that project to be reviewed and it, it's passing it's it's not only passing it just it makes you feel like a hundred percent one other way I can read this too is just like in that scenario maybe um, maybe if you are starting some kind of home business maybe you're applying for um, licenses and things like that and those are getting approved and that's just that's making you feel like you know like king of your castle right it it does you know how um, you know when you when you either work from home or or um, I almost get that kind of feeling like the Ten of Pentacles, um, if you've watched the How to Tarot, we talked about it, it, it is that material success, it, it's like, it is, it's almost like that affluent family kind of vibe, like I go to work, I did a great job, I'm, I'm, I feel successful, like when I come home, I feel like I'm coming home to my castle right I got that I got the nice I, I earned the nice house I earned the nice car right it's that kind of feeling um, so maybe you are applying for some kind of license or if you are submitting your your final paper um, maybe maybe you're applying um, maybe this is like if this is you like your final project before getting your PhD it you feel like you feel like you're submitting your work to be judged but you know you know how quality it is right you know how quality it is so if it is a license or something like that you're definitely going to get it um the other thing one other way that i can kind of read it too is that um you could this could be related to family uh this could be related to family um if you have any type of um something legal going on that involves a family member um, I know that's very rare. That's not, you know, that normally that interpretation doesn't come up in a weekly read, but it might pertain to one of a few people. Um, but what I'm kind of seeing here is like um, um, maybe uh, maybe you have some kind of legal document that you need to sign with someone. Um, the other thing that I can kind of get with this too is that this might be some kind of business dealing that involves a family member. Um, but yeah, honestly, guys, I, I just really get a sense like, um, like whatever it is that you're doing, um, you know, one other way that I can kind of see this is you might be signing some kind of paperwork for some kind of lease, like, um, you know, like, um, maybe you have been starting your own business and you've been using your home and now you're like, okay, let me actually get, let me go, you know, rent or or lease a an actual office space and 
it's like you're sitting down to sign the paperwork and you again that that's that feeling of like I've made it oh my god I'm, I'm signing the lease on a, on a storefront you know um, wow look, I'm here look at this right um, um, one other thing that I can kind of see is that um, maybe if you're getting some kind of backing or some kind of investment you know um, this could be like a partnership but I am getting kind of like a family vibe here a family vibe one last way I can kind of read it is that you might have family, um, you might have like a prominent member of your family, like a father or a grandfather or someone that you really respect, kind of looking at your success and being really proud of you. Um, you know, um, it's quite possible that maybe you do have some kind of gathering at someone's house, like maybe you go over to your, your father or grandparent's house, or your parents' house, and, and um, and again, it, it just, it seems like everybody's, everyone's looking at you and seeing what you've accomplished, right? Seeing what you've accomplished. Now, um, one last way that I can kind of read that, the lovers didn't pop out, but, um, yeah, there might be some kind of document or some, some, some kind of final uh, legal um some kind of final legal discussion that you're having um, but by the end of it because this is a 10 it makes you feel like accomplished like and and again it could be for a house it could be like for a house but um but whatever it is it's like it's almost like everything is being signed over to you like it, it this is this is this is your accomplishment you've worked hard for this right um and I do see that it's possible that if, if um, you know, after you sign this paperwork or after you come home, um, your spouse would might be there, like, waiting for you. Again, in the middle of the week, it's going to feel very warm, um, very warm. I, I do almost get the feeling like you're going to walk in the, the door of your house and know that, you know, the... Um, uh, the, the, um, that those four walls are yours, right? Everything around you, you have earned. Every single stone is, is because of your hard work, right? Now, by the end of the week, this is really beautiful, guys. You got the Ace of Swords crowned by the star. And with justice being here, that's, you know, those two, the, those swords. I get, I get the sense, like, again, you are wrapping something up this week. You're concluding something. And I do, I do, I do get the sense like there's some kind of judgment. It's almost like, um, uh, it's almost like, um, you know what I'm almost getting? It's like, um, maybe, maybe you, you baked a pie for the, the county fair and you know how you go and you present your pie and you, you, you have competition with other pies, <laughs> right? And you get judged, you know, but, um. But yeah, this is interesting energy, guys. Please tell me if this resonates. This is interesting. I I definitely get the sense like you've been working really hard, and you've been you've been like a, a one one woman one man band. But you feel empowered. You're excited about what's you're you're making things happen in your life. And then by the middle of the week, it's like you're finishing up or wrapping up something that might involve family. And um, but you you feel accomplished. It's almost like okay, this this is this is my ten of pentacles. The other thing is with it being pentacles, it's very solid. It's like okay, this this foundation is all mine. There's there's no the the ten is the last of the the minors for that suit. And then by the end of the week, you're going from a ten to an ace. And crowned by the star, I think. It's so exciting. It's it's almost like you're going to this from this whole physical world. You're wrapping up something in the physical world, and then then it's almost like both of these cards are about ideas and about hope for the future. It's like it's almost like moving forward. I I really get the sense, guys. Like it, it's almost like you've been working hard to get. Um, to finish up some kind of cycle and you see how this person goes from having you know the house the car all the fancy clothes to having like no clothes on and the, you know just looking up at the sky and going okay where next what next right I get the sense like again you you've earned some kind of freedom you've earned some kind of freedom maybe you paid something off maybe you paid off a house maybe you paid back something that you owed 
and it and again I'm getting that sense like okay this is mine now this is mine um, and then by the end of the week you are so hopeful you are so hopeful it's almost like it's like the world is open to you right you're just so excited the other thing I get here is that it, I am getting kind of like a business vibe. If this is you establishing a business, it's almost like by the end of the week, it's like, okay, I have my storefront. I have all of my, my merchandise and I'm, I'm creating my website. That's the other thing is this might be creating a website, but I, I am getting like the sky's the limit. You just feel so excited. Every The world is kind of open to you. And, um, you know, you, you, the other thing is that, um, with the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords is really about letting you know that you have no limitations. You have no limitations. You've got the Ace and the freaking ma Magician. You can do whatever you want, wh whatever direction you want to go. You know, all, all of the, you, all of your, all of the materials are on the table, guys. And, um, it, it is, it's an, an incredible freedom. I just feel like by the end of the week, you're just going to be so excited and it's going to feel very liberating. You're going to feel very light by the end of the week. By the end of the week, you're going to feel very light. And again, this could be like graduating again. You might have you might have completed your Ph.D. and they, they, they you know, they, they your paper got judged and it's like, OK, congratulations, Professor, Professor Pile 2. And then by the end of the week, you're just like, oh, my God. I've got a PhD at the end of my name. Oh my God, you know, where, do, what, what do I want to do next, right? You know, this is really exciting. Now, what's beautiful is that um, your two Oracle cards, you've got awakening, awakening. Oh my gosh. And um, it says, I am joyously awake and aware and ready for anything. And then you've got enthusiasm. I celebrate everything in my life and I live in limitless joy. Well, didn't we say limitless? And look at this, guys. This is the bluebird of happiness. And you see how there's a red bird here? So you got two birds. Um, the other thing that I love about this is that under awakening, you see how her hair looks like the same? And again, you're looking up at the sky. I'm seeing a lot of cloud imagery, like looking up at the sky, like you're looking up. The other thing is that um, the Ace of Swords and awakening are really the same message. Um, the Ace of Swords is, is opening up your mind. And being, you know, knowing, again, sky's the limit. That's what I'm hearing. The sky's the limit. You can go anywhere you want to go. But I do get the sense that you somehow earned this through some kind of physical work. Some kind of accomplishment. Now, the Ten of, the ten of Pentacles and the Magician can be a workplace thing, though. It can be, it can be the, um, the material world, right? But I do almost get the sense like um, one other way I can kind of get this is that I, I think that maybe your endeavors, what what you've been working real hard on is going to be possibly kind of critiqued by by someone in a position of power. But I feel like it's it's more than just one person. This is an emperor, the, the energy this I, we kept seeing the king of swords. So um you know, it could it could be critiqued by someone who's your family or it could be, you know, like a group of people who are like your your workplace team. I'm just curious. OK, OK. Ten of Pentacles, please. One card to clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, King of Rods. Oh, gosh, guys. OK, yeah. You know what? I mean, this, these could be parents, but I really get the feeling like it's your energy, like this is you. If you're a man watching this, you're the king of rods. If you're a woman watching it, you're the queen of cups. And you've got the ace of pentacles. There's a foundation here. There's a foundation here. It's like a start of something. Maybe you're buying a house. Maybe you're buying a house, or, or it could be some kind of um, legal kind of settlement something about you know the ownership of something but by the end of the week you feel very free you feel very free and there is an enthusiasm there's an enthusiasm it just feels exciting it feels exciting you know it feels exciting but wow guys this is really beautiful energy this is really beautiful energy and we've the other thing is we've got a lot of lilies and roses too there's a lily and rose on the magician there's a two roses on the ace on the aces here and even in your oracle cards but this is gorgeous energy guys this is really gorgeous energy you know
Maybe you do have some kind of partnership going on with a family member, but by the end of the week, it's like you just, you know, your hard work is paying off. But I do, the other thing I get is there is some kind of, there's some kind of freedom here that you guys have. And I do, it feels very entrepreneurial. <laughs> Sorry, I can't believe I said that correctly. Entrepreneurial, like, like you call the shots. It's, it, you, you're running things your way. <laughs> But wow, guys, oh my gosh, what a beautiful reading. That's a gorgeous week, Pile 2. That's a really gorgeous week. All right, so um, deck number three, we've got the um, the Rider Waite Smith. Oh, we've got the Empress kind of popping up here, too. Okay, so deck number three, what's our energy for the week? Oh my gosh. Okay, middle of the week, what's our energy? End of the week, please. End of the week card. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, please clarify the nine of pentacles. Ooh, okay. And please clarify the ten of pentacles. majors um there's the 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 kind of uh root energy so the outward expression um but the root energy is is major arcana so i feel like again yeah i, I feel like for all three piles there there are cycles that are kind of wrapping up there's cycles that are wrapping up right now and it and it is we're going into the end of a season you know we're we're um again um if you caught the intro you know this is um if you're watching this at the time the video posts we're kind of coming up on the end um if you're in the united states we're coming up on the end of the summer you know this this week you know through the 14th is probably going to be like the last official like summer week that we'll have before we start looking at like back to school and transitioning into fall and and all that stuff you know so let's go ahead and get a card Ooh, okay okay um the the card impeccability was trying to pop out enjoy okay okay well all right, guys, so this is really beautiful. So over the weekend, um, you've got the nine, um, the nine of Pentacles. And the root energy is the, the Hermit. So I really get the sense, um, in both of these cards, you get kind of like an independent kind of feeling. Um, but what I love about the Nine of Pentacles in this is that I think that, um, I think you are going to have like a quiet weekend. Like I think you are going to be, um, you are going to be doing things that feel, um, that feel that you... Um, I'm sorry, I'm not being very articulate today. Um, I get the sense like you're going to be kind of pulling into yourself. There is this this weekend is going to be kind of reflective for you. Um, again, uh, just like I said, you know the this being kind of like the last. It kind of feels like the last official week of summer before we start getting into the transition season. It's it's probably the last weekend that you would have time to go to the pool, have time to um, go flower picking. Um, I mentioned in, in um, pile one, um, but I get the sense like, you know, actually, you can actually even start to see it. it it's almost like if, if you garden, and I do kind of get the sense like maybe you'd be spending some time in your garden. Um, you know how that feels kind of meditative when you're just, you know, you're out there and you're pruning or you're watering or you're, you know, um, uh, the, the other thing I get is kind of like uh, pulling the, um, maybe you're out there uh, that's that's one other way I can kind of read it is maybe you're starting to look at your plants like okay I need to put I need to pull all the carrots I need to pick all of the tomatoes because um, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to start you know this will be the last the next couple weeks will be the last weeks that these will be in bloom or be uh, ripe 
before I start having to plant, you know, pumpkins and, you know, and things like that, right? So I almost get the sense like, I get the feeling like I, I am getting a gardening vibe from this, but I get the sense like that's, that's where you go to kind of reflect. I think you're reflecting on the summer. I think you're kind of thinking about, you know, you're thinking about, you're not thinking about the future yet. You're just kind of appreciating all that, all, all that you have right now. The other thing I get is that I get that it's a very, you, you see what a, what a, again, it's like meditative. It's very slow. It's like not rushed. You're, you're not rushed. You're, you're enjoying, you're enjoying that space. The other way I kind of read it too is that if you're not a gardener, there's a lot of sun in this picture, but if you're not a gardener, this, um, the Nine of Pentacles talks about refinement. Like she is a refined lady. Like maybe she likes, she likes art. She likes studying things, you know, like, um, I, like for instance, um, I'm, I'm such a, um, I'm such an, a, a nerd. I love watching the show Mysteries at the Museum. And I love, I love hearing the stories about artifacts, you know, in the Smithsonian and stuff like that. Um, so I, I almost get like, this is how you are enjoying your last, you know, the last, the last couple weeks of summer. It's almost like you're doing your own refined thing and you're doing it almost kind of privately right? Privately, you know, maybe, maybe you spend the weekend studying, you know, um, maybe you actually go to an art museum. That's possible. Um, maybe, but I am seeing this kind of outside. Maybe you go, um, you could go to a botanical garden, um, or maybe you just go outside and walk amongst the trees. Um, if, if it's not outdoors, then I really think that you're submerging yourself in some kind of cultural or artistic thing that you like to do. And it doesn't have to be anything real hoity-toity either. Um, it's interesting. I, I know I've mentioned on my channel, um, 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 my, my dad passed away and he left me his record player. It's a vintage record player. And I had the record player refurbished. I had it fixed. And so what I've been doing is every Monday, every Monday over the summer, I've been playing, um, I, I call it crooner Monday. Every Monday I've been playing a record um, from a famous, uh, quote unquote crooner, but it's been, you know, it's been like Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, uh, Nina Simone, um, Ella Fitzgerald, Billie Holiday, um, Nat King Cole. Um, and it's, it's been amazing guys. It's like every Monday I listen to, and I, and I've just put the record on and I listen through it throughout and it has been life changing. It has been the coolest experience ever. And, and that's not everyone's thing, right? It's not everyone's thing. Uh, you know, not, not everyone likes vintage music. The other thing is that a lot of these records are from the 50s and 60s. Like I go on eBay. <laughs> I go on eBay. And the amazing thing is, guys, those original records, the ones that, the, the vinyl that was actually produced, like the high, high, um, high quality, high fidelity vinyl, like by Mercury and Verge, verb and um when i see those labels i'm like oh my god i get so excited because the sound quality is 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 choice columbia records but um that's you know what that's what i'm kind of getting here is that there's some kind of like cultural kind of thing that's your thing you know and however you define it you know my thing is records however you define it and this actually kind of makes sense because i've been doing i've been doing crooner mondays every monday night over the summer like i started in i think i started in late may and then i'll probably go through you know august september but I, now that i think about it you know I, i've only got about one more month right what am i going to do with myself after that but um it is almost kind of like enjoying enjoying that and reflecting on it and being like, gosh, what a great summer that was. What a great summer I've had, you know? And, and, and thinking about all the music. And let me tell you, I got some new ones. Um, you know, um, Dina Washington, uh, this, is, this is My Life, Volume 2. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. That is awesome record. But, um, sorry guys. But, um, you know, it's like that. 
it's like there's something cultural that 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 speaks to your soul and you're just gonna like submerge yourself in it and you're gonna be a little hermit like with it um but the other thing is i do get the sense like you're almost like reflecting back on the season it's it's almost like your kind of wrap up it's it's your own personal uh wrap up kind of feeling now, by the middle of the week, this is interesting, guys. I am getting a strong work vibe with this. Um, we, we've got the Three of Pentacles. Um, so I do get the sense, oh, gosh, we've got the moon coming out here. See, again, we've got majors. That's the root of all this energy. Communication. You know what, guys? You know what I am kind of feeling is um, I am getting I am getting a little bit um, I'm getting a little bit of kind of burnout from this this pile. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. Um, everybody has um, uh, you know when I see the moon, I think of high tide, low tide, right? Um, the other thing that we always got to bear in mind, and to put the astrologer hat on for a minute, um, all of us have seasons that are are um, are you know that make us kind of stoke us up and get us excited, and then. <clears throat> there are seasons that we feel more low energy like um like for instance um you know in my in my entire chart i'm all libra and cancer like um you know um so it's funny when when easter season comes around you know like when we start getting into airy season um i love i love easter i love springtime you know it's starting to get warm again it's beautiful everyone gets spring fever but i do feel a little bit low energy like i feel like it's just it's the rest of the world is is out there rolling in the fields and i'm i'm feeling you know not meh but i'm just kind of i'm pulling into myself right so you could be you could be like you ha you might have some aquarius energy in you um the other thing that i get is that you might have some pisces in your chart because um, right now if you're watching this in the at the time the, the video posts there's quite a few planets in Virgo right now and that's unusual for August usually that we start getting into the the more Virgo planets kind of more towards September but um, Mercury and Venus are in Virgo right now so you might um, what you might be kind of feeling is again this is kind of like this is like a, a, a slow moving kind of reflective energy, um, very introspective. Um, and what you might, you might just kind of feel like by the middle of the week, I do get the sense, I get the feeling like you work a nine to five because it's almost like over the weekend when, when you can go at your own pace and do your own thing, you feel, you feel at peace, right? You are withdrawn, you are pulling in within, within yourself, but you feel at peace. Um, one other thing I just want to point out here is you look at the moon and you see how the face is kind of like hunched, you know, facing down. And look at the expression on the hermit. It's like, it's like the same expression, right? But what I'm really kind of getting here is that um, by the middle of the week, guys, um, it's, it's um, I do feel kind of like an emotional disconnect. Um, have you ever had those weeks where you feel like the world is, it's almost like you're, you're watching, um, you're watching the world, you know, you're watching everyone move and do things around you, but it's almost like you're separate from it. There's a great line in the book, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And if you've seen the, the, the newest movie version that's by Baz Luhrmann, um, he actually uh, highlighted that line very nicely in the new movie, and I, I thought it was a beautiful way to express it, where he says, um, Nick Car uh, Carraway goes, I was both within and without. It's like he was, it's like he's looking at and if you get a chance, I'll, I'll link the scene. Um, it's a little bit of a party scene, but... Um, he, it's almost like he's watching the, the, the city, he's watching the world go on, you know, around him, but he's not really a part of it. It's like he's like a shadow, almost like a ghost that's kind of outside of himself, watching all this going on. And I do think that, um, I do think it's because maybe you just don't feel very engaged in what you're doing. Um, it could be that, um, I do see this energy as being like, um, I do see this as kind of a Virgo Pisces access. Um, it's almost like, 
have you ever, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this, have you ever had it where when you're at work and you feel like everyone's being picky about, you know, well, we got to do it this way, we got to do that way, and you're like, I really don't care, you know? Does it matter? You know, it do, does it matter? You know, does it matter? Um, that's kind of the energy and it. And I don't want that to sound bad. I don't think that, I don't think you're shirking your responsibilities at all. I think you work very hard. You know, you're the nine of pentacles, right? But what I just kind of get is that um, I get the sense that like the, the communication with others just feels like, it, it feels a little shallow to you. It feels like you're not really connecting. Um, the other thing that I kind of get is that I just feel like on the outside you're doing your due diligence, you're doing what you have to do, like you're communicating, but um, on the inside you're just you're just not there, you know. Like in uh, on emotionally, you just feel like okay, am I? I am almost getting like a like you're just you just feel a little emotionally churned up, like just not not connected to what you're doing. You know, um, you see how um, you see how he's kind of holding up a cup, and he's showing this cup to other people, and the two people are just kind of looking up at him. I know this sounds so funny, guys, but I I wonder, I really wonder if you've been going through some deep. Um, uh, introspection lately like I think you are really starting to ask yourself the questions like you know what's my purpose in life or am I doing is is my career what I what I love to do and um, and I get the feeling like I think you feel like people are are noticing that something's going on below the surface I think you're trying to keep a keep up a good front the other thing is that I do I, I just it's it's dream like everyone's you know everyone's working around you but you're just kind of mentally you're checked out like you're just not connecting um i do yeah i and i'm sorry guys the other thing that i get is that i do get a sense of i, I am getting a little bit of a sense of fear here like um like like you're you're worried because you're not connecting with people or you're worried because you're not feeling as engaged um you're feeling stagnant I, I think that you feel really emotionally stagnant like the other thing that I get is uh, yeah I'm getting a real strong Virgo uh, a Pisces parallel here because Pisces is all like what's the higher purpose of this you know what's 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 my life's meaning you know what what can I do to give my life meaning and Virgo is the little you know check check checklist maker you know uh, you know okay did you did you do A B C D and it, it feels a little bit trite in comparison right. So I, I don't think anybody's treating you badly. I don't think it's like that. I just think that I think that you're feeling really strong emotions. You're you're questioning. You're feeling a little emotionally stagnant. And I think whatever's the communication that you have to do every day just feels a little rigid. Um, and it, it feels like the same old, same old, you know, like same same soup, different, you know, same same stuff, different day. Right. And it just doesn't feel engaging to you. It, it feels it feels kind of like the dirge, like mundane, right? The other thing that I get is that uh, there, it's quite possible that you might be showing someone, like you might be trying to shake things up a little bit, like maybe you are trying to bring some new creative ideas because he's holding up a cup, right, which is emotions. Maybe maybe you are trying to, maybe you're having moments where you kind of show, like you give, you, you, you give a little hint of what's going on below the surface and then you feel like people are just kind of like, you know, blink, 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 you know, like, and, and then you're afraid to, to, to elaborate. You're like, okay, never mind. Let's go back to the checklist. Okay. You know, but, um, this is some, some deep energy guys. When you have the moon, it can make you feel really lost. Um, the other thing that I kind of get is that, um, um, one other way that I can kind of read this too is that um, maybe if something is making you feel kind of lightheaded, um, I know that sounds funny, but um, not not in a weird way. Like I'm I'm not saying that you're doing anything. You know, sometimes um, 
sometimes, and I'll, I'll just use an example. Um, I, I get bad allergies at different times during the year. And um, there are some brands of allergy medicine that are just so strong. Like I'm a real lightweight. If it, it has to be a really low dose and I don't, I don't like taking allergy medicine and I know that sounds dumb, but it makes me loopy, right? Um, and the other thing that I get is that if, if you are, um, maybe there's some kind of m medicine that you're taking that's kind of um, messing with your emotions a little bit, you know, um, sometimes if you are, you know, taking some kind of medication that makes you feel a little up and down. Um, but in the middle of the week, I do feel like you, you've, there's a lot of, there seems to be like a lot of fear and, um, and a lot of just emotional kind of a stagnant feeling. Um, and I, I would encourage that if you are feeling this, um, if, um, if you are watching this at the time that the video posts, um, in, in the U.S., the days are still pretty long, you know, like the sun does not set until after 8 p.m. If you do just work a regular 9 to 5, um, I would encourage you to kind of, if you do kind of have those days that just seem so routine, like just seem so repetitive, like feel like, you know, a little soul sucking makes you, makes you question, makes you feel like, okay, I would kind of, I would go for a walk if you can near a lake or a river, um, either that, or you might want to take a shower or take a long bath. Um, I do think that it, I think movement would be helpful for you because I do think that some kind of exercise or just kind of like moving, I, I don't think that you, I don't think it would be good for you to just kind of sit still unless you, if you can't help it, I understand, right? You know, if you, if you work until late at night and you have to, you know, but I would highly encourage like getting up and walking around or moving around. Also, um, if you are feeling really deep emotions like this, maybe um, maybe look on the internet, uh, look up psych, uh, look up psychological um, articles that talk about how you're feeling. Like you know, key, you know, Google some of the the thoughts that you're having, some of the feelings that you're having, and, um, and because honestly, it's completely normal, guys. Again, this could be totally that um, you're just feeling low vibe, you know, this week. You know, and again, just like me in the springtime. Springtime's a wonderful time. Easter is great. Everyone's excited. The weather's getting gorgeous, you know. But it's just I, I, you know, depending on you know the, the vibe in the sky, I, I'm not feeling. I, I'm feeling kind of low, you know. I'm, I'm low energy at that time of year. So you know, you might have be having a low energy week. But um, I, I would just say, you know, the moment that you start getting wrapped up in fear about something, it's good to move. It's good to wash your hands, get in touch with water, get in touch with water. Um, also, you know, again, try to try to look up some of the symptoms of, of what you're feeling. Um, but I am I am getting that sense of like, again, I'm hearing that F. Scott Fitzgerald. I was both within and without. It's like you're watching you're watching the world go on around you, and you just feel kind of like you feel stagnant, like like it's just you feel disconnected. It's like a disconnect. Now, by the end of the week, this is interesting energy, guys, is that you got justice. So again, the root, the root of all this energy is a lot of major, there's a lot of major energy. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles and you've got the Ten of Wands. So again, you got another Pentacle card here, guys. Um, I do think that you're a very practical person. Now, the one thing that I get from this with justice and the pentacles, what I'm kind of getting here, guys, is that um, um, I, think, I think that you are a practical person and I think you understand that, um, you know, in, in order to have the, you know, the, the, you appreciate everything about your life, but, you know, I think you understand that, you know, not every day is going to be a glorious day at work, right? There are going to be days that you work a little bit harder, that you feel misunderstood, that you feel a little out of sorts. Um, but I, I think by the end of the week, you're just going to feel, you're going to feel like more, like I, I do think that the other thing I get is I think the middle of the week energy might be just kind of like, um, I, I would look at the moon in the middle of the week 
um, let me go ahead and see. Um, I'll try to put it up on the screen, but um, um, I think the moon cycle in the middle of the week, because the moon changes sign of every two to three days. And so I think in the middle of the week, you might have the moon in the sky squaring your moon or squaring your Mars. But I really get a feeling like something in the sky is going to be making conflict with your moon. And it's going to make you feel like emotionally out of sorts. And then it's almost like when that cycle has passed, you know, once it's blown over, once the tide has ebbed, you're going to feel more like yourself again. And um, I think it is going to be, um, it, it could be something that's going on at work. Maybe there was some kind of communication that took place that made you feel, you know, like um, misunderstood and it, it, it just got you questioning. And again, um, we all have it. You might just have had an emotional day where when you were trying to explain something, it, it didn't come out right. And then it had you questioning yourself, your, you know, your existence, you know, <laughs> we all have deep days like that, right? But by the end of the week, you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel a lot more like yourself. Um, the other thing that I get is that I feel like you're going to be willing to put the extra work in. Now, I do think there's something going on that's going to make make your workload busy. Um, but it's almost like by the end of the week, um, I'm hearing like whistle while you work, you know, like you're really going to, you're going to be more willing to put the, the work in. Um, now the other way that I can kind of read this too, um, the other thing that I'm getting is with the justice card, it's almost like, um, it's, it's almost like you're going to be more clear sighted by the end of the week. Again, you know, anytime the moon is in the mix, you're not seeing things clearly. Um, it's almost like you're seeing something, um, you're making uh, decisions based on um, emotions, right? And feelings are not facts. <laughs> I have a friend who has that tattooed on her body. Feelings are not facts. So sometimes when you're in an emotional mood, that's not the, the, the best day to, to make a big decision. Um, either that or you're seeing something through the, the, the lens of fear. You know, and that's not good. By the end of the week, it, it's almost like all that fog clears out. And again, I feel like it's a moon transit. I think a, but there's a moon transit that's really going to pinch it, you know. And the funny thing about those moon transits is, is you can you can get up in that morning and think, okay, it's going to be a great day. And then that transit comes in. You're like, oh, my God, did anybody get the, you know, did anybody get the license plate of that emotional bus that just freaking hit me, right? Um but by the end of the week, it's almost like you're seeing things clearly now, like you're judging things with the right perception again. Now, you are working hard. You are going to be working hard. So, but I do think that um, it's, it's the other thing that I get is that, um, you know how sometimes when things start getting um, routine or mundane at work, um, I... There's, there's a great article that I read once that talked about when you start feeling like, again, the, the, you know, the career blues, and we all, we've all been there, sometimes it's good to stop and ask yourself, okay, what is it that I love about my job, really? Like, what is it that, I, that makes me happy to come to work each day, right? And it's almost like I think that you're, you're latching on to that. And um, the Queen of Pentacles knows the value of hard work. The other thing is she knows her value, too. So I do get the sense, like, I do think that you have a lot of work. Like, you are going to be, you're going to be taking on a lot by the end of the week. But it's almost like you get a second win. Like, you're going to have a new energy. Um, the other thing is, with it being Pentacles, you're going to do the job and do the job right. Um, so, you know, you're really going to put it again. I, I'm seeing a parallel. It's like the, the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles are very similar personalities. It's almost like, um, after the middle of the week, the, the tide is, the tide's going to ebb and you're going to be way, you're going to be back in your practical grounded. Um, the other thing is I think you're going to know your worth. Um, now, one other thing that um, I can see here with this is that there might be something that happens at work, and I do think it's a fluke thing, that makes you feel like you're not good enough. And it could be a communication that occurred, like maybe maybe some kind of mistake happened and you get called out for it, or maybe um, a communication. Again, I, I think that you're going to be in kind of a sensitive mood, so maybe, again, you say something and it goes over wrong, and it, I think it might have you questioning yourself. 
But I do also think there's some stagnancy here. I, I do think that um, that it just things feel things feel a little bit um, too routine. They feel boring, you know, and they feel like stifling is what I'm kind of getting. But then by the end of the week, it's like, okay, let me, let me, let me buckle down. The other thing I'm kind of getting is let me just get through this week <laughs> is what I'm getting. Um, I, I get by the, by Friday, it's going to be like TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. You know, let me just get through this. And I do feel like you're going to be in that renewed sense of energy. And I do think um, the other thing that I get is by the end of the week, you're going to be seeing things. You're going to be judging things in a fair light. Now, um, one other way that I can kind of see this is that there are three people here. Um, so one other way that I kind of read it is that maybe maybe something happened that really kind of made you feel like, uh, like, like a failure or made you feel bad. And then by the end of the week, you're working to fix it. Um, but the, the, you're going to be judged fairly for whatever happened, right? Like if, if it was a fluke thing that happened that, you know, normally you do things very by the book, something occurred that, you know, like, oh my God, I'm bad at my job. By the end of the week, you're, you're going to get reassurance that you are not bad at what you did. You know, you, you were, you were the queen of pentacles. You were solid, you know? Um, so if you do, if, if you do have like something, if you're being called to judgment, the other thing I get is like, um. I think by the middle of the week, you're almost afraid, like, oh my God, am I, am I going to get fired for this or something like that? Um, I don't think it's going to be anything as severe as that, but um, the, these are, um, you know, it's, it's going to send you into an emotional kind of down, uh, uh, you know, into a spiral a little bit, and you're going to be worried, like, okay. Um, the other thing that I get with pentacles, anytime you're pentacles, a uh, pentacles type of person, um, you're, you really care about your work right like you don't want anyone to find a blemish that's the thing you don't like it when you you don't like you you like everything to be perfect right and when it's not perfect you take it personally <laughs> so i do kind of think um by the end of the week you're back in your mode one other way i can kind of read this is that you might have someone who's coming to your aid um again you know someone someone might be recognizing that you're feeling you're feeling disconnected and I think this person is a very anchored person, someone who's very steady, very reliable. I think they might call you or they might try to help you because I think this person sees how hard you're working. You know, they see how hard you work. And I think they're going to reach out to kind of give you, to help give you some grounding, you know. Um, the other thing that I get, but definitely with justice, I think things will be judged in a fair light, you know. It's, it's you're going to see things clearly or the person that reaches out to you is going to make it clear to you, you know, that I, this might be a voice of reason. There might be someone who approaches you and says, hey, look, you know what happened this this week? That wasn't your fault. You're OK. You're fine. Um, you know, and that could be a coworker or it could be a family member. I do get the feeling like it's almost work related. But. By the weekend, you, you still have a lot on your plate, guys. You have a lot on your plate. I think you're really, you're do, I also think you're doing more than the lion's share. But um, I think you're doing more than the lion's share because you care about quality. That's the other thing is that it's almost like you're, you're willing to, to put in the work to, to get the result. Now, your oracle card is really beautiful, guys. You got communication. And I really think of the Three of Pentacles with this. Communication. You know, this could be someone that's reaching out to you. This could be someone who's helping you. You know, a Queen of Pentacles person. But it says, I communicate from my heart and love surrounds and protects me. Oh, guys. I do think that this is probably your energy. I think this is your energy. I do think that you're in some kind of situation that just feels really... It feels like all work and no play. <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, it, it, it does feel kind of office related. It feels a little office related. The other thing that I kind of get is it's, it's almost like you, you want to try to bring some kind of sunshine to your office place. And it's like, maybe you, you feel like just like there's no, no connection. You try to connect, but it, it just, you know, I do think that there are times that you just kind of feel like, okay, you know, is this even worth it? You know, I, I, I work, 
the the other thing that I see with this and this is a big um, you know what I'm seeing with this spread too is that if you are working remotely or if you work in that type of job environment like if you're a nurse or something like that you guys work so freaking hard and it's 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 like it's like you come into work and you hit the ground running you there's an they, they, there are so many articles out there that talk about the importance of connection between people, <laughs> you know? It, if you just go to work, don't talk to anyone, do, do your job all day long, and, and of course, be productive. Be productive, you know, earn that money, do a good job, you know, gold star. But if it just feels like all work and no camaraderie, if it feels like all work and no play, if it makes you feel like you like are uh, like a robot just doing things all day long, you're going to start getting into that moon energy really darn quick. And it, it is. It's going to feel like this. It's going to be like these cups have been in the same position for six years. You know, they have not moved. There's there. It, I, I almost get the feeling like nothing's changing. Nothing's different. Nothing, you know, so it's frustrating. So. Um, I do think that I think that you are going to try to be the change that you wish to see, um, but the problem is that means more work for you, you know. And I know that's hard. It's almost like the other thing is the Queen of Pentacles really takes care of people physically, um, not in a weird way, but you know, like she's the person who will, you know, um, like for instance, in my office place, I I send out cards. I like to send out little cards. There's little cards that I send that say, hey, I was thinking of you, or hey, thanks for helping me out the other day. You're, you're a gem. So that's what I'm almost getting from communication. Um, but one thing that I am almost getting, guys, is that I almost get the sense like you take care of other people, like you, you implement the communication between people, and you might have a, a, a low, you might have a day where you're feeling low, and you're afraid to reach out and say, hey, can someone talk to me? Can someone Skype call me? Can I see someone's face? Because I need that today. And I think what it is is that people look at you like the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. The, the, I bet you, I bet you, pinky, pinky bet. I bet your coworkers don't even realize because you're such a grounded personality. I bet they don't even realize that you're having a bad freaking day. You know, it's almost like if you reach out and you see how those hands are reaching out, if maybe that's what that is maybe you gotta kind of show your cup a little bit and that's gonna make you feel real vulnerable because uh, when you're in that kind of moon energy it's like it makes you fearful like okay I don't want to I don't, I don't want to admit to anyone that I'm feeling like lonely or you know like I'm, I'm feeling misunderstood but I would say really if, if there's someone that you trust if there's someone that you uh, that really you know is is a good person that you I would say in the middle of the week, reach out to that person. Just say, look, you know, I'm I'm feeling a little socially isolated this week. Can we Skype call just for three minutes? It doesn't have to be 10 minutes. I think uh, also I will I will look up the astrological chart because I do think some kind of moon contact is going to hit you in the middle of the week. And uh, the, the, the biggest thing to remember with that is this too shall pass. This too shall pass. And those moon transmits are wha whammies too, especially if it's in some kind of water sign um, or if it's touching your, your natal moon. But try to reach out if you can. I think you will, you'll get back to normal. You will feel better by the end of the week. I think you'll be judging things in the clear with clear logic. By clear logic, it's, it's almost like you'll, either that or you'll be judging the situation with clear, clear sight. Um, I do think there might be a little bit of cleanup involved, you know, there's the, it could have been some kind of, again, some kind of fluke faux pas thing that you took really personally, but it was really no big deal, um, that might involve a little bit of work. But the other thing I really get from this is that I really do feel like you feel like you work all day long and then when you're feeling low energy, you don't have anybody to, again, with the Hermit card, I think you're feeling a little bit isolated. And I think because you're such a hardworking, grounded person that sometimes your coworkers don't even realize that you're having a rough day and that they, you know, you know, a, a virtual hug would be appreciated. No, no real contact, just, you know, digital hug. <laughs> okay. 
but all right guys but wow guys by the end of the week you're gonna be feeling better um, definitely watch that burnout though I would say you know um, the, the other thing I'm kind of seeing there is like I really get the sense like you work like a dog all week long and then it's like two days that you know the weekend goes like that and then it's you know back to the grind so that's probably what's making you feel all of that you know okay is this worth it kind of energy but you know uh, you know try to try to take care of yourself and try to connect with others because I think that would really um, it would give you your sense of purpose and make you feel better but all right guys so wow all three decks that was a beautiful week um i i thank you joint for joining me today um i hope that you have a wonderful week and uh, if you are enjoying the last kind of hurrahs of summer you know go to the pool go out and pick some flowers i i wish you well and godspeed and i will see you in the next video bye guys